good day. I am about to uh, get started on the second tree. This one is not nearly as overgrown as the last one was. So I might be able to get two trees done today. Um, a few things about this tree that I've noticed. It's got all these other trees growing inside here. I'm not sure if they're Chinese elm or box elder or whatever they are. They are definitely not wanted and they grow like weeds. Um, they, they grow, they've been growing all along the back here. So they need to be, they need to be taken out. Um, so this tree is going to be much more manageable. I just give it a little, just look at it to what I'm going to do to it. You know, I think it's got a lot of, uh, it does have a, a number of broken branches that I can take off of it. Um, it's got some, I don't know what you would call that. I, <clears throat> I guess I can leave some of that, but it needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. Um, It's got a few parts over here that I don't know or they should stay or not. But I think what I'm going to focus on is just the things that are really growing up vertically way out of reach. And a lot of these little spurs or whatever they are, a lot of these little stems on the side. And these other stuff that's growing up in the middle. And this one right here, this branch, like a long, nice long branch. It's just uh, so low to the ground there, and I don't know. I guess it's okay. If you look at the end of this apple tree here. It's been growing right into this tree here, right in between them. And this other tree is sort of growing around it. And so that's, that limb is gonna come off there. And uh, of course these two trees are gonna come out. So, I'm making progress here. Um, yeah, this really, really low limb, I decided it's probably better just to come off. There's really not enough space between it and the limb above it in order to produce apples. And this, you can see sort of a line of these branches right here coming down. I got rid of a couple of them that were right here. Um, and so I'm getting rid of those and I'm also continuing to get rid of uh, all of these volunteer trees as I go Well, I've uh, done quite a bit of trimming on this tree. Uh, you can see the various cuts that I've made. Um, you remember how I sort of opened it up underneath here where all the sticks were running into each other. Oh, there goes that brave dog. 
the virus. <clears throat> Got this big pile here that I made. Um, so I think I'm just about done with this. I'm, I've trimmed so much of it out that I really don't want to get up into that stuff up there. It should really be about half of that stuff taken out there and a bunch of that stuff taken out up there. I think I will at least get up on the ladder and take some of that out. Here I am again. Up a ladder without a paddle. Or something like that. Oh, are you one of those dogs that climbed ladders? So, I've been doing some cutting up here. Um, just really getting things thinned out as best I could. Um, so I'm going to call this tree good. I opened up the middle quite a bit and uh, I'd like to take a little bit more of this verticalness out of it, but we'll uh, wait for next year. I'll now move right over here and just get a few of these branches. So I'm about done for the day. I did come up over here and remove quite a bit. I sawed off some stuff there, sawed off some stuff there. Um, there was quite a bit right up over in here that I sort of lopped off and <clears throat> most of this stuff it's growing back towards the Sun and not very much of it is growing out that way but there is a little bit that's growing out that way and I'm, I'm leaving that and I actually removed quite a bit that was pointing back into the middle of the tree although there is still some more pointing back into the middle of the tree um, So now I'm done basically, but I do want to uh, come back, cut this right here. Um, and uh, just because that's a little bit too overcrowded there. So this tree I was able to do quite a bit more with. Uh, it still needs more pruning, but at least I think I got the, the bulk of the bulk. So it, I think it'll be good in terms of it's not going to be overweight and break under its own weight that kind of thing so that's good and I'll be able to come back next year and do some more pruning for uh, production and aesthetics now that is the end of a long day that is the end of a long day this tree um, I just finished and uh, that tree I did yesterday it's I know it, it looks like I hadn't even touched it but believe me I touched it and uh, I just didn't want to touch it anymore this one was just not nearly as overgrown as this one and so it looks a lot more bare next time next uh, time I'm gonna come over here and get these you should see I was out here playing all day with the dog and the kids, so here's what here's what happens when the dogs and the kids play outside all day. <laughs> <laughs>